Yo, what is up guys? My name is Destiny and welcome back to the series. In this one, we're going to go ahead and start working with getting messages between just two users, all right? So in the last one, we wrote um, a very complex query that got all the messages for a particular user depending on the last or the latest message that we've got. That one was actually quite complex, so I'd recommend that you guys go over the video over and over again to actually understand everything that's going on. This one isn't going to be quite long and difficult. It would be actually short and easy. We're going to be writing just a very simple query to go ahead and grab messages between two users. That's what we're going to be doing. Check out the links in the description below. One of them should help you become a better Django developer. And also, if you want to better understand how the chatting system works or whatever that we're building in this series how it works then the facebook clone course should be something that you should consider checking out because i built out a fully functional fully fledged chatting application there and there is a full section called messenger clone dedicated just to explaining how the chat system works so consider checking out that course let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to open up my code editor let's hop over to the views py and just down here you want to create a new um a new class class base view and you could call this one get messages right so get messages and it should inherit from generics dot um what is the best thing to use for this i think it's list api view yeah, because we are listing okay so list api view and in this one the serializer class that we're going to be interacting with should be the chat message and we also need to overwrite the get underscore query set okay as simple as that now, after we've done this, we need a couple of things. We need um, some ID. The first one is going to be the, the sender ID. And the other one is going to be the receiver ID. So there's going to be two IDs that go into this query before we can actually filter something. So the first one is the sender. The second one is the user. Now, what does this mean? So let's say that we we Destiny is actually chatting with John. So Destiny texting with okay let's say samuel and destiny's id is number 33 and samuel's id is number two then we're going to have something like this one two or maybe url slash url slash first one is sender id which is destiny 32 slash three slash then when we run this we're going to be able to get the all the conversations that destiny have had with samuel don't worry i'm going to show you guys how to work on this perfectly so now all you have to do is just go ahead and define a variable. We're going to call it messages and I'm going to say chat message dot object dot filter. So don't freak out. This one is going to be quite easy. All we need to do is just say sender underscore underscore in. And over here, we're going to say sender ID and receiver ID. That's the first one. And um, you need to put a comma over here. And you need to say receiver underscore underscore in and you need to say again sender id and receiver id we're pretty much done okay we are done now let's go ahead and return messages okay that's it let me explain what's going on and we are done so we pretty much checked for the sender id underscore underscore in remember that the chat message has a field called sender now that field sender has, when you do the underscore underscore in then that means we can now check for the sender id that will pass into the url all right so we pretty much check we pretty much told django hey django get a chat message where destiny is equal to the sender or the receiver or where john is equal to the sender or the receiver as simple as that get where destiny is equal to the sender or the receiver or get where john is equal to the sender or the receiver i know it might look like gibberish now but don't worry when we start doing the few short things you guys will have a better understanding of everything that's going on and it shouldn't look like gibberish again okay so yeah let's go let's go ahead and open up the the urls py you can actually duplicate this one if you want it's up to you and i'm just going to call this get messages and we need to change this one over here you could call it get messages just like we have over here and the first one that we had is sender id right just to confirm again i will open this up and copy the receiver id and hop back to the urls and over here we just need to go ahead and pass in the receiver id one more time 
Okay, that's pretty much it. Now, if you run this in the browser, you should be able to get something. But since we are still working with APIs, no visual thing yet, in the next video, we should finally go ahead. Okay, not finally, I think that should be the second to the last video in the API. And after that, we should start seeing some visually appealing things, all right? That's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. Do make sure to check out the links in the description below. Consider taking the Facebook clone course as it will help you better understand everything that was going on in the chat app. Okay, and until the next video, my love, peace out.